limited characters Whoops. like Super I Saiyan bet. Trunks, a belt, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta will even be available from these free summons. All you need to do is it's kind of crop, but whatever. You can see the so don't forget to do so every day. Next up, up the. This free summon Wait, is what? a little different from the one we just introduced. New to this year's Legends what? Festival, what is this? this is a Show me Toshi. 100 times summon. To get right into the details, you'll be able to play this free Whoa. 100 times summon and nab a whopping they think they're 100 Doka. characters <laughs> in one go. <laughs> this is exactly to what that so, is. You'll first need to collect 100 it's the fucking the 55, 7, 6, 6, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, New missions will be added later, so you won't be able to collect all 100 at once. I can't? What's the fucking point? Uh, it's it's That's not all though. The 98th, 99th, and 100th characters from this summon are guaranteed to be Legends Limited characters. You have to 14 star Each every single free unit. From I guess I'm not getting the fucking tickets. And here they are. I'm guessing. 98th includes Super Beast Saiyan gone. God Super Saiyan Vegito and the Vegeta that transforms into Majin Vegeta. 99th includes Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Evolved Vegeta, and Perfect Actually, South. goes with the Beast? And finally, 100th has Super Saiyan Trunks, Heen, and Son Gohan Beast. The closer you get to the 100th pull, the newer the characters you can get will be. So we get 3 guaranteed LO characters, and one will even be pretty new. That's incredible. It really is. And actually, there are two steps to this summon. Two, two. steps? So if you play both, you'll get 6 LL characters guaranteed? Yes, you will. Plus, the Legends Limited characters included on the 100th summon on step 2 will be even more amazing. The lineup for the final 17! summon even goes so far as to include the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, who revives into Ultra Instinct Sign. No, I don't step care about that. I care about some 17. Great characters, but step two has some I want 17. Runs. Everyone is going to want to play those 200 summons. This is awesome. Definitely. Missions that award these summon tickets will be added throughout the festival, and they will last all the way up to the end of it. So feel free That's to collect the them at your Ultra. own pace. Those are two exciting events, but we have lots more coming up. Like yeah, this. Yeah, we do. What do we have? Challenge. I love challenges. We'll be holding Festival Challenge, which is a roulette-style login campaign similar to the one for oh, the fifth anniversary. During this campaign, you'll spin a roulette wheel each time you log in and win various prizes. There are three steps to this login bonus. From the first and second steps, you get Chrono Crystals, Multi Z Power 100 for Sparking Characters, Seed Exchange Medals, and more. Here are all the prizes. Plus, on step three, you can win these incredible prizes. Oh, so you can get a lot of I have a lot. And Corona Crystal is just like the 5th anniversary. Give them we energy, also Toshi. also 50 slot removers and a special item pack full of useful items for powering up your teams. Mm -hmm. After step 3, you'll return to step 1, so you're certain to get something extra special every 3 days you log in. I love and uh, special need things. To log in. Even if you are too busy to spend much time on Legends, yeah, you I'm should very busy. To at least log in and try your luck. Hold Fucking shit. During the Legends Festival, if you log in on Tuesday, Japan time, each week, you'll receive a festival. I can't even Tuesday get the Chrono Crystals, I just realized that. Fuck. One Festival Tuesday medal for 100 Chrono Crystals at the exchange shop, or three of them for I have to get the Z Power. Z Power 100. Much like the fifth anniversary, you'll also receive rewards from missions based on the total number of medals you collect. Here are the mission rewards you can earn. Be sure to log in every Tuesday to collect those medals tickets? and get all the prizes you can. This is fucking insane. Login bonus! In addition to the login bonus where you can get the tickets for the 300 free summons, we'll also be holding a special login bonus. You'll be able to receive a total Holy of 300 Chrono Crystals throughout the festival period, as well as daily festival medals. We'll be holding four seasons of oh, this yeah, this is when we got the um, things for how much CC you spend. Well, I wonder how much I would get. Combined. What about those festival medals? What will those be used for? Festival medals can be used at the exchange shop to exchange <gasps> costumes, 
messages, accessories, and much is that more. What I think it is? Of course, there will also be power up items available to exchange for as well. I don't so, give a shit about this. Once you've gotten everything else you want, be it's sure to stock up on the items you'll need to train and power up all those new characters you'll be getting from the Legends Festival. Special missions. There will also be a Legends Festival 2023 special missions from which you can earn a whopping 3,000 Chrono Crystals in total. That's like the a rotation for Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. With three Legends Limited characters guaranteed that we discussed earlier can be earned from these missions. There will be missions that award Chrono Crystals just for collecting festival medals, as well as missions that will be added weekly where you can get summon tickets so you can accomplish a lot just by playing consistently throughout the campaign. That's awesome. So we hope you I have keep enjoying the festival you. as you aim for all 3,000 of those Chrono Crystals and the summon tickets. A very special Once in a Year campaign returns. Supreme thanks. We typically hold oh, yeah, this during the, the Legends I think I was talking about the fucking but the Supreme the Thanks campaign is back again. You'll receive it festival is. plates based on how many Chrono I can barely you've play it monthly. November 1st of last year and November 1st of this year. I'm not these getting many of these. For Legends Limited Multi Z Power One like five or some shit. Card I kept fucking rerolling every shop. damn second. This campaign is just one way for us to show our thanks to all of you who have played Legends throughout this past year. So we hope that you'll find the perfect yeah, I just item started, like, for you last month. at the exchange shop. This month. That brings the us to this next event. What is it? I can't get the fucking Chrono it's Crystal. It's time to announce the non-stop festival raids. I've been waiting for this. this time, I haven't. There will be a total of five raids, and a new raid will start every week during the campaign. I'm missing out on 3,000 fucking Chrono Crystals. You can earn up to 700 Chrono Crystals from each one. Uh, Meaning, I don't like being there a is GT a grand total you know, of 3,500 Chrono Crystals up for grabs from this event alone. Just like a normal raid event, you'll also be able to earn tons of slot removers as well as the arts cores necessary for arts boosts. Just like during the 5th anniversary, by earning a certain number of limited time rewards, you'll also be able to earn raid honors. With your first raid honor, you'll be able to get 30 slot removers. Can't you like your not second will get um, you 100 chrono crystals and you'll nab 300 honors? chrono crystals with the third. I don't and think I got a single one of those. You can get a Legends Limited multi Z Power the 600. Last time there will be a new non stop raid each week, um, so we hope you take up the challenge. Next, we have this. What do you have? Hoi Poi! That is right, it's time for another Hoi Poi event. This time will be a step style My leg is fucking killing step me. as a certain notable item. This Hoi Poi is structured a little differently, especially for the festival, in that there will be no characters with bonuses that increase Hoi Poi coin drop rates or increase the numbers you can collect. Holy now shit. you can just enjoy collecting it Hoi Poi coins without worrying about having characters with bonuses in your parties all the time. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Here are the main prizes for this What's year's prizes? festival Hoi Poi. You also get all kinds of power up items. Messages. In addition to these main prizes, I love this game. So they give me messages. Playing Hoi Poi as you enjoy the Legend Festival. Now for an event aimed at experienced players. I'm experienced. Festival Face Off is a high difficulty event. It's like extreme battle from the fifth anniversary, where you complete missions. By oh, I don't think I did this time. Are added each day during the event period. So I just didn't You'll care earn enough. tickets for a summon with a 10% chance of dropping Legends Limited characters. Here's the lineup for that summon. As you can see, it features Legends Limited characters all the way up to the Super Saiyan Gohan youth that has a revival so, ability. Up to the Each stage of this event will be available this for is very three cold, days. I'm not, I'm not you can attempt this. these stages as many times as you want during this period, so just try out your best. Unless my gamers can just solo a oh, festival duel. Oh, the duel. Festival Duel 2023. A special season of raiding matches will be held in celebration of Legends Festival. By clearing missions, you'll get special items which you can use can to exchange stop putting for 1,000 in there crystals and I can't other amazing get it. items at the exchange shop. The missions are designed so you can complete them by playing a certain amount of raiding matches. We hope you'll take this opportunity to give them a try. Now this I can I can accept. 
Treasure Battle will also be getting an upgrade. No, I can't the accept Legends this Festival. fucking blessed bonkers. You'll be okay. able to open three treasure chests each day, just like normal. <sighs> but this time, you'll also receive special exchange items from the treasure chest. These exchange items can be traded for Chrono Pistols, Multi Z Power, Summon Tickets, and many more fabulous rewards. Actually, you'll be Fuck. able to exchange for 500 Chrono all this Pistols in the first half of the festival get. and 500 again I, in the second half for a total of 1,000 Can they put Vegeta Pistols. first? Can they just put, put him out right now? The festival duel 2023 we talked about earlier. Let's get it over with so I can get the, the fucking Chrono Crystals, please. We hope you'll give Treasure Battle a shot. I will give it a shot, but what's different? Oh yeah, we knew this. It's what you've all been waiting for. The equipment mega upgrade bonanza will be back to coincide with the start of the Legends. I can do it for my Piccolo. And remember, this is a mega upgrade bonanza, meaning even better effect values than in a regular one. Equipments are tremendously Piccolo. important in PvP and certain events, they are like the high difficulty festival face-off that we talked about earlier. So, no, fuck this will be off. a great opportunity to upgrade equipment for your characters and parties and take on some new yeah, challenges. Yeah, that would be nice. Super Boost Campaign! We're holding another Super Boost Finally. Campaign. During it, 2x EXP from training. Have, and there will be a huge increase in EXP cost. and Zenny earned from the main story and event stories. Also, during this campaign, you won't need to use energy for first-time clears of the main story chapters up to Can they um, nine, push the Legends Weekend a really to interesting Friday. part of the story right now, and you'll get Chrono Crystal just for playing through it. So we recommend that anyone who hasn't experienced it yet, use this opportunity to take the plunge. Holy shit, this is what I wanted With to hear. With the Legends Festival comes a special <laughs> Legends Ranking. Rewards will be even better than usual. With That's for December, right? Slot unlock souls and two times the medals and chrono crystals. This Legends ranking will start at the usual time, 3 p.m. on the 1st of December, JST. So I hope you are all ready. I am ready. Now, let's I'm gonna get rank one. our latest new Zenkai. Continuing on from Legends Limited, Jiren, full power the other day, we've got another Zenkai mm. from Universe 11. <laughs> Yeah. That is right. God of Destruction Topo from the episode Universe of Ice. I'll be okay. I'm gonna check right now. I don't Zenkai know if I can. Ability will target characters that if are I can, maybe I don't care. Tag universe I'm check what I if have it here. targets green and tag universe red, that means the L Super Saiyan God SS Goku, who revised into Ultra Instinct Sai, will be affected. It will also target Kawei too, who arrived during the fifth anniversary. It might be worth trying them out in a party together. The, the Awakening Z power can be earned Kauai, from the Zenkai rush Kauai. battles and missions, so give them a try and aim for Zenkai Awakening. To cap things off today, why don't we announce some new characters that I'm sure Wait. everyone's curious about? Maybe I don't know right now. Allow me to introduce the first set of new characters Let's for this, this year's Legends Festival. Enjoy. I will, hopefully, I do enjoy. Goku and Frieza? Why is everyone universe reps that pan? Yo, play with your kids. Oh, they got the LF? Go Frieza too! Way. 
They didn't say Lesnar. Yeah, there he is. See this kid? Where's Python? Really? I have got so far. Really are one tough bastard. Looks like we pulled it off somehow. Yeah, you do. I got to those two stars. From episode Universe Survival Saga. Sparking Golden Frieza and a new I be more sparkings. Legends Limited Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku are coming to Legends. This Vegeta and Goku are the very same duo who faced off against Jiren in the Tournament of Power. Seeing them fight together really is exciting. They also, should have put for this tech character, Jairus will start the battle controlling Vegeta. Yes. For characters like Goku and Vegeta, or Trunks and Vegeta, you haven't been able to start off with Vegeta, but that's all about to change. Let's talk about their abilities. I like starting with Vegeta. Golden Frieza is range yellow, is with this element guy? yellow. The tags are Frieza Force, Otherworld Warrior, I'll just wait for the Transforming rest. Warrior, Lineage of Evil, and Universe Rep. The Z ability 3 will buff Allied, Tag Universe Rep, Tag Lineage of Evil, and Tag Frieza Force. This Frieza's greatest strength are the ability to Rain's hinder the and decisive firepower. Put on my Let's discuss team. those disruption capabilities first. Disruption. The ultimate arts will paralysis. paralyze on hit, as well as reduce all enemies' arts card draw speed and lengthen their substitution counts. When hit by an enemy's arts attack while on the battlefield, if Frieza's health is below a certain threshold, Frieza will destroy your opponent's hand, greatly reduce the enemy's key and inflict no switching for a fixed time. Using these truly devious abilities effectively is sure to put you at an advantage in the fight. But now we should talk about Frieza's decisive firepower. Mm, fire this Frieza power. can draw an strong. ultimate arts with the special arts. In other words, if you have a special arts in hand, then you can land a devastating blow on your opponent right from the start of battle. Mm. That's not all though. Just by using special and special move arts, you'll be able to boost the damage of the ultimate arts. You get Saving ultimate. one ultimate arts for later in battle and then using it once you've boosted its damage is sure to be an effective strategy. Being able to use two ultimate arts gives Frieza some decisive Green firepower, shows. but combined with the disruptive effects, this yeah, character sure will be a real terror to face on the battlefield. Frieza them. also has a special cover change against strike arts Dragon Balls. and other defensive abilities like reducing enemy arts card draw speed when changing cover. Frieza was a deviously powerful force during the Tournament of Power, and we hope these abilities will let you experience that as you bring this character on the battlefield. Vegeta and Goku okay. are a range type character ability. where Vegeta's element is green what do they have and Goku's basic element one? is reverse green. Green is strong against blue, while reverse green is strong against purple. Oh, Goku and Fuck Frieza purple are moves. purple and blue. Goku youth is purple and Super Saiyan Goku is blue. So, Vegeta and Goku should be strong against a lot of characters you'll see in PvP. Green character is strong tags, as blue! They are Vegeta Clan, Saiyan, God Ki, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, you think that Universe Rep, and Sun Family. Actually makes green the Z-Ability 3 like will target shit. Tag Universe Rep, Tag Vegeta Clan, and Tag Sun Family. While both Vegeta and Goku have their own unique characteristics, what really sets this tag character apart is the incredible firepower it can reach using its unique gauge. Uh, what does so, unique let's gauge talk do? about that first. While this character is on the battlefield, the unique gauge will charge whenever Vegeta or Goku uses an arts. When maxed out, the unique gauge will be consumed in order to boost damage inflicted, nullify enemy special cover changes, and even boost unique gauge charge rate. It will take a bit of time to charge the gauge the first time, but once you do, that buff to charge rate means that the next time it will build up faster. 
get stronger the more you attack and overwhelm your opponent with a deluge of attacks. Let's also discuss some of the differences between Vegeta and Goku. When Vegeta enters the battle via tag switch, this character will get an effect that reduces enemy sustained damage cut effects and all enemies will be inflicted with a debuff Let's that increases the better. blast damage they receive. Now, when Goku enters the battle via tag switch, this character will get a buff to health restoration and minus two to own substitution count. Vegeta is geared more towards offense, while Goku is geared more towards defense. The power of this tag character doesn't stop there, however. When returned to standby, this character's switch Stable. gauge will increase by a large amount. But no. simply, this tag character will be able to tag switch more easily than others. And if you can tag switch more often, Toast, that means you can activate the, the change ability too. and recover key and health more often too. That lets Vegeta and Goku get some serious buffs to both offense and recovery. Vegeta and Goku has incredible abilities that will really let you experience the powerful teamwork of these two fighters. Vegeta and Goku can do some amazing combos when their unique gauge comes full, but being able to activate it multiple times makes it really strong. It might take a while to fill up the unique gauge at first, but it'll get easier from the second time onward. So, it's a good idea to use this as the base of your offensive. Check out the official X Twitter. With the arrival of these new characters, you'll also be able to hear Kyukyuk no Bataru from the soundtrack the of fuck? Dragon Ball Super in-game no for a limited time. You'll hear it in battle and in other places, so turn up the sound and give it a listen. However, I can't that's all do we that have for recording. today. We announced a lot of stuff for the Legends Festival, including the 300 free this summons, shit, shit, as well as the Thursday Thursday Thursday. style festival challenge. Where you can get something extra special every three days you log in. There's plenty you can get just from logging in during the campaign, so make sure to do it every day. We'll also be holding our very first three Legends Limited guaranteed 100 times summon, That's awesome. with a total of 200 characters across the two steps. I hope you'll take this opportunity to get a bunch of characters. Of course, there are even more events and campaigns than what we've talked about today. All official SNS accounts Rise and Rush. post info we couldn't cover here along with info on present, campaigns, and more. So please give us a follow. And that's all we have time for today. It is. See you all next time. Bye, everyone. That's a Fate of Black. I know what that is. Yep. There it is. Awesome. LR Ultimate Gohan? I don't care about the other ones. I'm so not, I, I want this. Is this what Piccolo's coming back? I want this. I need this. Where did this thing come from? What the? We got two! Guess it's my turn. I can't afford to lose. How do they expect me to summon the other one? Well, at least I know the ultra's not Beast Gohan, but what? Don't go thinking I've gone soft yet. Uh, what the fuck? We're not done quite yet. From the movie <laughs> Dragon Ball Super Superhero comes Sparking Gotenks I need and to what Legends the Limited Gojira. Ultimate Gohan, what? who can transform into. Are they trying to take my Chrono Crystals? It's been a while I thought I was going to get a free skip. A big campaign and do this. Double step up summons. The Legends Festival in 2021 was a whole two years ago after all. 
both this Wait, ultimate Gohan, who the? transforms into Son Gohan Beast, and our first uh -huh. failed fusion Gotenks have some fairly unique abilities, so why don't we give them a closer look? Gotenks is a defense type and is element yellow. The character tags yes. are Hybrid Saiyan, <laughs> Fusion, and Fusion Warrior. Gotenks Z Ability 3 will target episode, sagas from the movies, tag Hybrid Saiyan, what? and tag Fusion Warrior. So this character will be able to buff huh? many of the powerful characters that are commonly seen in PvP. We took inspiration from the movie for one of Gotenks main strengths, this character's tricky defensive abilities. After changing cover, they do. Gotenks the game was now fucking another beast Gohan? Unfavorable <laughs> element factors for damage received for a set number of timer counts and I'm will also destroy enemy cards at I'm random. For beast. You can cover change with Gotenks to Gogeta easily take attacks for other what? characters this came out of fucking even nowhere. at an element disadvantage and reduce your opponent's hand while doing so. This character yeah. also has a special cover change against strike cards, and when you successfully activate it, you'll reduce I'll just ally fucking pray to God, no. obscure your I get lucky for it, and more. Gotenks even has an endurance effect, so if this character's health goes to zero, you will recover a certain amount of health once. Well, good luck. Upon doing so, the enemy will lose a ton of key, I have and to, I ally have substitution to counts Fuck. will be reduced. Yeah, please put pickle that on gives this man. you the perfect chance to please. begin a counterattack. But it doesn't end there. If this character receives I'll say it all fucking dig it. Hell yeah, seven plus seven, seven star plus fifty percent. Go tanks will recover. I just need two good units for that. And allies I'll see me with seven plus star. Again, be reduced. This means that even if Go tanks is on the ropes, <laughs> you'll have a good chance of escaping to another Wait, character. Where did this fucking come from? Just when you think Go tanks is about to go down, this character finds a way to slip out of danger. Uh, yeah. it's I'm not even gonna movie, put fucking Goku and Vegeta in some I'm not event, doing that. Fuck Gotenks that. Who cares? Beast Gohan is here. Again. It's not just about defense, though. Gotenks is also capable Goku and Vegeta can go die. Dragon Balls. You will reduce their Dragon Balls when you use a special arts or the I'm main up to ability, am. and also when you successfully I'm activate up for this. a special cover chain. Stop fucking doing that. Be sure to put this character in a party with some powerful attackers and give Gotenks a try. The ultimate oh, Gohan is. who can transform into ultimate Gohan. Gohan Beast is a red melee type character. The character Just going straight on my team. Sun Family and Hybrid Saiyan. I don't care if it's the ability three targets. I need him. Episode sagas from the movies. Tag Hybrid Saiyan and tag. Oh, is Reg an ember for him? Before transforming, this Gohan will be a defender who can support the team. While after transforming, this character becomes an offensive attacker. The unique the gauge is what truly symbolizes this Gohan's fuck? dual nature. Gohan will keep the unique gauge even after yeah. transforming, but its effects will change drastically. It will Six start pages. out as a defense type and charge Can slightly a bit of the banners? I just need some Piccolo's here. I need Piccolo too. When the too. unique gauge is completely filled, Gohan will have the other banner. I'm fucking element factors for own damage to sustain. I have Python. Python's fun. I want some superheroes. Their substitution counts and even reduce your opponent's Dragon Balls. It's something like the unique gauge of Legends Limited Android 17 released in January. I now, like 17. If you use the main ability to transform into Son Gohan Beast when the unique gauge is full, then you will reduce the enemy's vanishing gauge to zero. Since your opponent won't be <laughs> oh able to God. perform a vanishing step, it'll be the perfect chance to start like a combo and then combo. use this a huge funny. attack like a Rising Rush or a Special Move Arts. Your opponent won't know what hit them. After transforming, the unique gauge will become a charge type, so you can charge key in order to fill it up rapidly. Once you fill it up, you'll recover key, get That's a boost thumbnail. to arts card draw speed, nullify unfavorable element factors, That's and the more. Right there. Just the this. unique gauge can then be consumed by using a special move yeah. arts to draw an arts card at random, increase all I mean, dragon right, balls by one, and style. activate other effects. Use this charge type unique gauge after you transform to really put some pressure on your opponent. This Gohan should be very easy to use both before and after transforming. In addition to recovering health and key when you use a special arts, you'll also destroy any special arts in your opponent's hand. It's easy to end up trapped in an opponent's combo if their character has a wide range special arts, so destroying them will let you go on the offensive with no worries. Oh, he's back. When the enemy uses a special move arts, ultimate arts, awakened arts, or rising rush, 
ally substitution counts will be reduced. Do I because of this, do I record my summons for that? Be able to get out of trouble even when I can do it. It's 1am. Biggest moves like their rising rush or ultimate arts. Rising rush. Characters that can revive like Legends Limited, Piccolo, Power Awakening. That was Piccolo. released in June. Piccolo. Or the recent Legends Limited, Pycon. Are Pycon? Able to I have Pycon. And ultimate arts without too much difficulty. So they make good teammates for Gohan. Gohan is I have a Piccolo. I mean, Pycon. Who has a unique gaze. Even before uh, maybe transforming, which is something we haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Up until now, if a transforming character had a unique gauge, then it would usually appear after they transformed. Gohan is focused on defense before transforming and focused on offense after. So this is a very I got Piccolo, easy to Gohan, and the Gammas. Gohan quite well or, no, I don't have Piccolo, I have Pycon. I have Piccolo again, here. The Vegeta and Goku and Golden Frieza that we talked about earlier will be available from a different summon than Gohan and yeah, we know. Tanks, I'm going for Gohan this though. The I, I feel for the a new power. Festival since 2021 to have a double step up summon. This is part it's one. hard to choose yeah, which summon to play cool. first. All these characters are strong in their own right and there will be plenty of Chrono Crystals during the festival so feel free to try for LS, whichever me? character strikes your fancy I don't want to wait. You can find a more detailed explanation of their abilities by clicking the link to our site in the description. But I mean, anniversary did have four banners. Be sure but, well, to give it a look. It is not as, soon as, as you may have seen at the end of the trailer, but, yeah. Superhero from the soundtrack of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie will so also be in game like, for a limited time. December so does have will we'll have two banners. It'll be an LF and an Ultra at the end. As you keep on battling, we actually have even more Possible, info to share today. Have a look at this. What? What? They have more? I love this celebration. Best celebration of all time. What's wrong? Is that all you've got? Infiltrate the Red Ribbon Army. An event I'm grinding a free unit. Piccolo wearing a red ribbon army battle suit is Fuck Gohan, I don't care about that. I want this. This is from when he snuck into the red ribbon army base. This is in the, the best movie, celebration. Dragon Ball Super. Super yeah, Hero. I will. It's something we prepared especially for the Legends Festival. You'll even be able to get a red ribbon army costume for Shallot from this event. I'm putting the Shallot on, on Shallot, Shallot too, whatever. Then progress through the event to get Piccolo. Once you Why don't go, they put the them art on the sparking shell the though? You'll also be able it's to the hero one, but who the fuck is the hero one? Army Piccolo from this event, so don't forget to equip it and see just what this character can do. Up next, we got the fight beast going. on? co-op is on its way. The boss this time is Want to do some co-op? I'll do some co-op. I like co-op. These rewards. The number of rewards will Ooh, increase for the higher difficulty stages, so make sure to use the battle bonus to on. keep on clearing this event. The festival themed choice battle is coming back. As we did during the 5th anniversary campaign, there will be stages where you can get various items such as slot removals too, I like them. He's a very good unit. I hope Piccolo is good. Metals, Please Piccolo, be as good as, as Gohan. Well as I've been a Ideally you're as good as strong as Trunks, um, the time. yellow Trunks on his roof. might not have many characters or who still need to raise some limit breaks pan. to grab the Z power. They while actually put those pan there? hit the max limit break can get items. Grab whatever you need I know you get like five stages one on Z power, but pan there is actually nice. this is our final announcement for today. Unique equipment? We already added unique equipment for Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and for Orange Piccolo during the countdown to the Legends Festival. But we'll also be adding even more during the Legends Festival itself. Here's the unique equipment for the Legends Festival. These pieces of unique equipment can be used by oh, characters chef. that are from the <laughs> Universe Survival Saga and the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Oh, we really made it specifically for Superhero. It's great that we'll even be able to power up characters that are coming <laughs> as part Imagine a beast going on like that would have been fucking I know. crazy. If you get any new characters from the summons, you'll definitely want to grab this equipment. I will right. grab it. That's now I think that's it. For today.
I promise. It is 37 minutes. There's been a lot of good news to share, such as the ultimate Gohan, who can transform into... Yeah, that is good news. Gotenks. Where did it come from? ...event exclusive Red Ribbon Army Piccolo. And that's also very good. We've added a lot to get everyone pumped for the Legends Festival. I am pumped. ...including a bunch of events and campaigns. And things are sure to start strong with our first double step up summon since Legends Festival 2021. Of course, there's stuff coming that we didn't even talk about today, like a certain character's Sankai Awakening, and more. So be sure to enjoy yeah, the Legends Festival stuff, as the much best. as you can when it starts tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching all the there. way until the end. The Legends Festival kicks off tomorrow. We hope you're looking forward Bye -bye, to it. Bye-bye, Toshi. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Let me end this video. Okay, that's it. Um... Make sure, you know, superhero is peak. Superhero is peak. We love superhero. You better pull beast. We're all going to pull beast. But we love superhero. Let me just uh, put on this, this back on. Yeah, that's it. That's crazy. Superhero.